I'm Anil Kumar and here is a very important application of factoring. The question is, use factoring technique to determine x-intercepts of the curve y equals to x cubed plus 5x square minus 4x minus 20. Now what is x-intercept? At x-intercept, y is equals to 0. Do you understand? So y is 0 at x-intercept. So to find x-intercept, we should equate y to 0 and solve for x. So that is what it really means. So let us write y equals to 0 and then the function or the equation which is x cubed plus 5x squared minus 4x minus 20. Now we need to factor this equation so that we can find easily what values of x will make this 0. As you can see, we could factor by grouping in this particular case. So when we have 4, we try to do it 3 and 1 or 2 and 2. So in this case, because this ratio is 4 times 5 is 20, 1 times 5 is 5. So factor by grouping helps us to factor this particular equation. So if I group first two together, x squared is common. So I could write this as x plus 5. In the second group, minus 4 is common, and I could write this as x plus 5. Now, x plus 5 is a common factor. x plus 5, what do we get here? We get x squared and minus 4 from this side. This is difference of squares. It could further be factored as x plus 5 times x plus 2 times x minus 2. So the zeros or the x-intercepts in this case, the real zeros or the x-intercepts are when x plus 5 equals to 0 or when x plus 2 equals to 0 or when x minus 2 equals to 0. That gives us x equals to minus 5, x equals to minus 2 and x equals to 2, right? So that is how you could find x-intercepts by factoring. So we can write down our answer that the x-intercepts of the curve will be at x equals to minus 5, minus 2, and 2, right? I hope this example helps you to understand how to find x-intercepts from an equation. Thank you, and all the best.